Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Red Baron Scramble Minis. It's bacon and egg. They look like their own little uh, English muffins or something. Perfect start to every day. I'm actually eating them for lunch, so it's not starting my day. Um, these were a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so we'll see how a dollar, how, how good a dollar goes. Mm. They are 290 calories. That's too awfully bad. Um, cooking directions are somewhere under the flap. They were hiding them from us. Okay, so we're going to uh, remove overwrap from tray and pizzas, place frozen pizza directly on the silver cooking surface, and then place on a microwave safe plate, paper plate. Cook on high uh, for two to two and a half minutes. I'll probably do mine two minutes. Uh, product is ready when cheese is melted. Uh, remove from microwave and let cool for one minute. So two minutes in the microwave, put it on the tray. So I don't know if I can open this with one hand. I'll tell you what, I'll be back and watch you see what they look like. All right, here's what they look like before I put them in the microwave. So um, I'm gonna get them in the microwave and I'll let you know what they taste like when, uh, when they're ready. So I'll be back. Okay, here they are out of the microwave and I have to say they smell pretty good. Let's see if they got crisp on the tray. Uh, they're a little, they're a little tough and chewy feeling, but they grist up a little bit on the tray. So, let's see if I can pull them off. They're very hot. Yeah, they a little crisp on the bottom. Um, they smell good. I can definitely smell the bacon going. Um, that was that was super hot. So, um, trying to pull the tray out from out of there. There we go. All right, so here they are. Um, I'm gonna let these sit for a minute and cool off. I have a knife and a fork, but I don't think I'll need those. Um, I think I'll just be able to pick them up with my fingers and eat them, but they uh, they smell good. The one like right here is a little lacking in, in anything on that side. This one's this one's pretty good, that one's pretty covered, but this one's kind of lacking, so on this side for for that one. So I won't, probably won't try that one. I'll probably try like this bite right here. It looks like a lot of stuff on there. So I'll be back when these are cooled off just a minute. Hey, right, cooled off a little bit. There's the bite I'm going to try. I'm going to try right there where the bacon and stuff's at. Mm. That is really good. Um, the egg is is good. You can, it tastes like a it tastes like an instant egg. I hate to say that, but it's still it tastes enough like an egg. It's fine. Um, the bacon's good. It has a little bit of a smoky flavor to it. Um, the cheese is good. It'd only be better if it had a little bit more cheese on it, a little bit more bacon. Like I said, it's good for a dollar. You know, can't expect it to have piles and piles of stuff on it. The bread's good. It's a little, it's a little tough and chewy, but it's not bad. It's almost, it's not, it's kind of like an English muffin almost. Um, so it's not bad at all. The um, the flavors are good. Um, I don't have any complaints about it for two dollars for a dollar. At the Dollar Tree, you can't go wrong. Um, would I get it again? Maybe not. I'm not a real breakfasty flavor person, but um, if you like breakfast, like breakfast English muffins with bacon and cheese and egg, then this would be perfect for you. So I'm gonna give these a three. It's something I wouldn't get again, only because I'm not into it, but I highly recommend them if you do like uh, breakfast type meals. So uh, thanks for watching.